Hi guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today's video I'm going to be talking about Chiroths. They're a monster ranging from level 83 to 89, and they're found in the Fremnix Slayer dungeon. Okay, I'm going to start today with the inventory. You're going to need a food source, so I've brought Bones to Peaches. It's a tablet, and all you do is smash it on the ground, and every single bone in your inventory just turns into peaches. Uh, the peaches heal 8 each, and they're quite useful. You're not really going to need loads of food, because I'm going to be safe spotting, so it's not that hard. Um, a one click teleport obviously to get away um, it's optional to bring a uh, ranging potion obviously an enchanted gem will help but it will show you how many kills you got to go I've got 150 to do so it's quite a while I'm going to spend down there um, you can also if you want to um, bring uh, teleports to say Camelot or whatever um, so you can bank your stuff and then come back uh, to make a little bit more cash I might do that um, and also some nature runes and fire runes for alchemizing um, because you'll get a few drops that you can out for GP and it means you have to do less runs. Okay, um, the most important thing about this task is you're going to need uh, broad tip bolts um, or anything that's to do with leaves. Um, you can check it online on Wikipedia or anything like that. I know I'm doing ads for every single every single episode, but you will need broad tip bolts for this, you cannot use any other bolt, um, I know it's quite expensive for the lower levels but I use them already, um, they're quite useful so, ok I'll run there and I'll show you my inventory, ok as normal I've got my archer helm, I've got my amulet of glory, seldom in dehyde, black dehyde chaps, snakeskin boots, zamorak van braces, rune crossbow, Avatar's Accumulator, Broad Bolts, and Book of Balance. I've already explained what all these do um, in my other videos, uh, especially my first cow fight video, so if you want to go and check that out then I suggest to do that, but basically they give a decent uh, range bonus and some decent defense as well. Um, if you're thinking of bringing any other kind of stuff, I wouldn't recommend Void uh, on this task, I guess, simply as when the thing when the Chiros hit on you, they do hit quite hard. Uh, they don't hit regularly, but when they do hit on you, they do hit quite hard. Um, I've forgotten to bring my Ring of Life, so I can suggest that as well if you want to bring that. All right, I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, when we get to here, um, you're going to need to go down south. Uh, don't take the path that leads upwards, because then you have to run back down here again. Okay, um, it's the sign, the two signs, and the two statues. Okay, once you're in here, you should be in the first kind of chamber. This chamber has the low-level cave crawlers. Okay, this is quite a long run, so I'd suggest to use uh, rest at the start. it's the third from last um, chamber so there's quite a few chambers to go through obviously the last one that they've just added is the Aquanites one um, hopefully I'll get that task one day when I move on to a harder slayer uh, master but I'm happy where I am at the moment okay let's go Obviously, if you've got a higher agility level, then you can go straight through here. Uh, but that is level 81 you'll need, so it's quite high. I don't think many people have got that. Okay, the second chamber is with rock slugs. Uh, that leads on to the cockatrice, I think that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, th this is an excellent slayer dungeon. It's got like lots of slayer monsters, really useful. Okay, pyre finds, pyre fiends. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. It could be different. And then on to basilisks. I've been here a few times. They're quite good XP. Drop a few good things. Uh, quite a few good herbs and stuff. Right. I don't think it's much longer now.
Okay, we're on to the jellies. Um, you need like 52 Slayer, I think, to kill these. So I'm sure to get that monster quite soon assigned. Ah, we're finally here, Chiros. Okay, there's a safe spot in here, I've just got to find it. I think this here is a ranging safe spot, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, actually, it could be this one. Yeah. So as I've said before, they don't really hit that qu that frequently, but when they do, they do hit high. Um, I've actually checked and they're weak to range, so ranging is the best way to kill these guys. If you want to get the task done quicker, then I guess you'd do the 83s, um, but I, I don't think it'll make much difference. I've just got to find this safe spot. I'm not entirely sure where it is. Adamant full helm. I can mount that. That's giving me 2k. So that's not bad. First kill, 2k. So yeah, this is a good task because it pays for everything. Um, all your broad bolts. That can be quite expensive, but you know, quite useful. Already, I've got quite a few good drops. I've got a Ranar, um, Dwarf Weed, which are about 8k, and Ranar's about 10. So, yeah, you don't need to save spot, but I guess it will save you time and a bit of money. And sorry, my throat's really bad. I can't really talk much because I'm coming down with something, but I hope this guy's helped you out. And if you want any other advice, any other questions, or any other monsters, I really, you know, it's what I like doing. I like helping people out on YouTube. It's a good job. Um, so thanks for watching and see you again.